quiz 1 on functions characteristics consider the function f of x equals to 2 sin x minus 1 write domain range of the function determine increasing and decreasing interval of the function so I'm actually let it be a and b since I have removed part a and b the other two parts from this question so we'll only concentrate on two points for this given function one is we'll try to figure out what is domain and range of this function and then we'll find a general formula for increasing and decreasing interval of the given function now we are given f of x equals to 2 times sin x minus 1 let us consider the parent function which is y equals to sin x now I'll write domain and range using parent function that is a technique and a very helpful technique to write domain and range. So for the parent function y equals to sin x, what is the domain? Well, domain in this case is x belongs to real numbers, correct? How about the range? Range is y belongs to real numbers, but y is between plus and minus 1, right? So we say y is greater than minus 1 and less than equal to 1 so that is domain and range now when we are saying f of x equals to 2 times sin x minus 1 what does that mean it means the function has been stretched vertically by a factor of 2 and vertically it has been translated one unit down that means range has changed domain is same correct so we can always write domain of this function as equals to x belongs to real numbers right there's no change in domain however the range has changed so that how has the range changed so the transformation of the points is basically from x y to 2 times x right 2 times I mean x points the same but the y points are 2 times y and minus 1 right so 2 times minus 1 so when I multiply minus 1 by 2, I get minus 2, right? Minus 2, minus 2, minus 1 will give me minus 1, correct? So, sorry, minus 3. So let me do it again. So when I, when I multiply minus 1 by 2, I get minus 2, minus 2, minus 1 is minus 3. So we have, my, let me write first, y belongs to real numbers. So that y is greater than minus 3, that is the lowest point, and rather minimum, and the maximum should be 1 times 2 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, 1. So that gives you the range for the function. Well, that is one way of doing it. Other way, of course, is you can always sketch your function, right? So we can always sketch the sine wave. Well, okay, now here your... 2 sin x minus 1 really means that x is a symmetry is at y equals to minus 1 and amplitude is 2 right so amplitude is 2 so from here to here it is 2 units and from here to here also it is 2 units so minus 1 going 2 units down will give you minus 3 and minus 1 going 2 units up will give you plus 1 so the range is between plus 1 and minus 3 so that is the same result, right? That's an alternate way of doing it. Now let's look into part B. So we have already done part A and part B is determine increasing and decreasing intervals of the function. Now what I'll do is I'll try to do part A for you. And then you do B yourself. Uh, there is a reason for this because I also want you to apply what you've learned to get the answer and this is just a review before your test so what we have here is kind of a sine function if you know the sine function has increases from minus 90 degrees this is minus 90 degrees to plus 90 degrees correct so increasing interval let us do first is actually from minus 90 to plus 90 
right so it is from minus 90 degrees to plus 90 degrees now this is a periodic function so that repeats so it repeats k times 360 degrees so plus k times 360 degrees so that is what the increasing interval is right so we can write increasing interval as now I can take 90 common here right so if I take 90 common then what do I get let me write this factor first 90 times 4 is 360 correct so I could write increasing interval as let me take 90 degrees common so 90 I get 4 times k minus 1 2 here also I can take 90 common so 90 and 4 times k plus 1 correct so that is my increasing interval in general where k belongs to integers right which I can write z or i for you so that is the increasing interval for this function right it decreases from 90 to 270 degrees is that okay now you can add and subtract you can add k times 360 for both and come out with a similar formula do you see that so that should give you decreasing interval so that part I'm leaving for you so decreasing interval is from 90 to 270 correct now to each you have to add k times 360 and get a general formula like this just factor it out write down your result and move on to the next video i hope that helps thank you and all the best